lasagna for our friend that just had surgery tonight. I got to tell you something funny. Remember, I can't remember who went and bought broth for us and thought we were going to have broth till the end of time. We had so much broth. We are down to our last four boxes of broth. I cook with a lot of chicken broth, so I keep it stocked. I, I highly recommend boiling your chicken and chicken broth. That's what we're starting. Um, Shay is not a kitchen guy, but what he does do is he handles raw meat for me. I do not like to handle raw meat. <laughs> <So> <laughs> he comes in, and he'll be working, and I'm like, I need you to come cook the chicken. Into the pan, into the pan. So that's what he's been in here for. We're getting this chicken lasagna going. I'll keep you updated. I'm only good for the raw meat. That's it. <laughs> so we make ourselves laugh. Stay tuned, and I'll show you the rest of the recipe. <laughs> to go ahead and just make the same thing for dinner for us just to keep it simple so we're doing chicken lasagna tonight so I thought it'd be a good idea to share this recipe which this is uh, our crew one of their absolute favorites that I make everybody I've ever had that comes and eats this absolutely loves it and the ingredients for this are chicken breast which we do chicken tenders, and we cook these mm, an hour to two hours, anywhere in between, just slowly, in broth. I salt and pepper them, garlic salt and pepper them starting out, and then during the process, as I add more broth, I salt and pepper them some more. So again, garlic salt and pepper, not regular salt. So then I I fish them out and put them in here, and then I'm going to dice these up. I do not like to use a dicer or anything of that nature to dice up my chicken. It makes it too much like minced meat. So I either wash my hands and do it all by hand, or if, it, if I've had a couple hours that I can boil it, then I can... Um, just use a utensil to get the chicken how I want it because I really want it in my casserole pieces about like that. So it's pretty simple. So this chicken is really ready to go. And then my other ingredients are lasagna noodles. I'm going to make a sauce out of evaporated milk and ranch and then cheese. And so it's a very easy, very simple. This is, I can have this done um, if I've boiled the chicken, I can make this within 20 minutes and it's ready. So we will keep going with the process. I'm going to finish getting all the chicken out and get it ready. I'm going to go ahead and put the lasagna noodles in. Now let me show you this. I'm going to get the rest of the chicken out after I do each pan of lasagna. So if you're doing one serving, so when I'm making this for my family, I use nine of these. Each pan of lasagna should have nine of these in it. So, since I'm doing two tonight, I'm going to need to do 18. So, I'm going to cook this in the broth that the chicken has been cooking in. And that's what's going to make these noodles taste amazing. So, we'll come back as soon as I get these noodles done. So, once I have boiled the noodles in the chicken broth with all the garlic, salt, and pepper. And I've already sprayed pan on my casserole dish. Then I can remove the noodles from the boiling broth. I, I usually boil them. I cook on a gas stove, so it's always going to be anything that I share a time frame. It's going to be different if you're cooking on an electric stove. Electric stoves just cook differently. So I go ahead, I'll leave the rest of these in here. Like these taste delicious just by themselves. Fantastic. Shay likes to eat them just alone too. But I go ahead and line my dish just with one layer. So now what I'm going to do, and I've diced up my chicken. 
I'm gonna make the sauce. So the sauce for this, oh, where's my pan? Let me see, oh, there it is. So the sauce for this is super easy, but you do have to, because it is a sauce that's going to thicken, you do have to stand there and stir it. So if you've ever watched me cook, and when you're cooking with milk products, you don't ever want to leave it. And again, it's not that this takes that long. It's not, it's, it's not a long process, but it is a little bit. It is a 10 minute stand here and just stir, stir your milk. So I'm gonna get this going. So when I'm just making this for our family, I do two cans of carnations to three packages of um, Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. It's the salad dressing, salad dressing mix. Let's see. And it's real simple. I'm making more tonight because I'm making two dishes. So we actually put more than that in here. This is going to be the sauce though. And here's the thing. You have to sit here and stir this constantly. This is carnation evaporated milk. So it's got to be stirred every second. And this is gonna be the sauce that is on your chicken and in your lasagna combined with Colby Jack grated cheese. So I'm going to stand here and stir it. I'll let you know how long this takes. Again, I'm cooking on medium heat on a gas stove. So your cooking time may be a little bit different if you're cooking on electric. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. So the sauce is ready and I pour it in here. Again, I made enough for two recipes. So it's gonna be way more sauce than we need. So that's about how I do it. And then you're gonna add cheese. Now, I don't measure, but um, my recipe actually calls, when I first started making this, for four cups of cheese. I like to use Colby Monterey Jack. I'm gonna throw my scissors. And I just guesstimate. But if you're a measurer, you can measure out four cups. And um, this is what this looks like. So we're doing it. Just open. Hey, baby. You ready to have dinner? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I just kind of, I just layer it. Pretty Wait, simple. And we're making dinner for Ellen too, babe. So we got to take her hers first. You know, she had surgery yesterday. Do we all have to go? No, baby, no. And then I've diced up my chicken. As you can see, some of it's not. I gotta dice up some more. But I dice up that chicken. I put a layer of chicken. Pretty simple. My hands are clean, by the way. Pieces that aren't diced, I just dice them as I go. I just keep everything easy, simple. When you've got four kids, things have to be easy. They've gotta be quick. They, Walker, what do you think about this recipe? What is it? Chicken lasagna. That's awesome. It's one of your favorites. Mm hmm it's really, really good. Maverick, do you like this? Yeah, it's real good. I'm just real cold. You're, oh baby, you can't be outside in short sleeves. Have you been? Yeah, all day. Baby, you'll get sick. And all the chicken put on, and it's just one layer right now. So now I've got to do this process again. So, I'll just move over here. Just follow me, babe. I do another layer of noodles. I'm just going to do one, and then I'll get the other one done. But just even notice, like you can tell these noodles are so flavorful. There's garlic, salt, and pepper that they were cooked in, in that chicken broth that the chicken was cooked in. Just, oh my gosh, it makes these so, 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 so good. So I'm gonna do another layer. Nothing has to be perfect. When you're cooking for a family, you're just trying to get the food done. You're not worried about what it looks like. You're just worried about what it tastes like. That's what I'm worried about, at least. 
And so now I'm going to do one more layer of sauce. Oh my gosh, y'all, this sauce is delicious, delicious. So this is actually, I'm really hoping Ellen and her girls love this. And then I'll do another layer of chicken. This one's going to be less chicken because it's a top layer. So less chicken because I already did a lot of chicken the first time. And then I'm going to finish it up. We're going to pause here in just a minute because let me do the chicken real quick. And then we're going to finish it up with a layer of cheese. Then we cover it and we're going to cook it on 350. I usually do 15, 20 minutes and it's ready to go. So you have got chicken lasagna, delicious, easy, everybody loves it. Okay, so this is the last little bit of cheese that we're going to do. So now I can actually take this over to my friend's house. I'm going to cover it in foil, take it to her house, and all they have to do when they're ready to eat is pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes, and it's ready to go. So we're going to run that over here shortly. We're walking out the door, taking this food. We've got dinner ready, chicken lasagna, my famous green beans, Fancy's green beans, and lemon cake and rolls. You ready? I just carry the food. Fun. Looks amazing. Are you getting it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Looks amazing. It's going to be so good. Yes. Got nice. rolls. Got to butter those rolls. We'll be ready to go. Good. Hey peeps, uh, it's dinner time at the Copeland household. Um, one thing that we do as a family, we try to almost every night, we sit down and have a family dinner together. Oh, I threw them in that. Which I know we'll be talking about goals on, on some of our videos, but that's on our goal poster that's, that, that, uh, that we uh, sit down and have a family dinner and discuss the day. So uh, the dinner bell has been rung and we only have one person here for dinner. Why do you have sun chips? Oh, I got you. Sun. I got you. So, so anyways, so Fancy has prepared a awesome meal, and uh, we're about to sit down and enjoy sweet it. Sweet tea, sweet tea with our dinner. Spaghetti, um, and spaghetti, and this. What is this? Chicken lasagna. You're a pasta boy, huh? This is one of your favorites. Yes, he loads the dishes. What? Yes, he loads the dishes. Thank you, babe.